All right, so see, I want to want to do a little bit of trees in my shit. Ain't no trees in my shit in a minute, you know. You thought a nigga was gone from the trees? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what I want to talk about today is um the idea of living lucid because I I know I say it a lot, um and what dawned on me is <laughs> is that is that I, I get I get questions from people about it and and they reference it, um, and you know it my dumbass. It took me a little while to 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 cling on to the fact that that I was being listened to in that way. Um, but but more so to the point what it is they were looking for when they they were trying to get clarification on living lucid. Um, and so I want to talk about that. Um, because I say it all the time. I say it all the time. Is that the first step niggas got to really do is, is is to begin to live lucid. And this is what I mean by that. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of a story time. This is what I mean by that, okay? Uh, follow it. Follow me, if you will. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm sitting on the front porch. Our new place is uh, the neighborhood, the way, the way me and my wife said, our neighborhood is basically in a forest. Okay, there's trees fucking everywhere. Like this, this shit been here kind of shit. So I'm sitting on the front porch, um, and we got chipmunks in the front yard, uh, chipmunks, squirrels, birds, shit like that, right? And so it wasn't the chipmunks I was watching. I was watching the birds. Um, in the bush to the right of our front door, uh, there's well, there was a bird's nest. There's still, I guess, the nest still. I haven't even looked, but uh, a bird was raising two of its, its young, right? And uh, I've been watching it. You know, teaching it, teaching them how to eat and shit, because they follow it around, and you know, they watch, they watch her pick through the, the leaves and shit, and um, they ain't figured out exactly how he's supposed to do it. They just watch her when she got some food. They do a little open mouth shit, you know how birds do. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm watching them. You know, little the, the two babies playing with each other, the mother, you know, getting, this, you know, going through shit, figuring out how to get the food, make sure she feed the babies and shit, you know, shit like that. And I'm watching that shit, and I think to myself. It'd be kind of funny if I went over there and started clipping the hedges. I laughed for a little. <laughs> I laughed for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is why I tell that story in the idea of living lucid. Okay. Um. There's nothing that bird could have done to stop me. Um. Not even simply nothing it could have done to stop me. Uh, what's going on, K Prime? Not 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 simply nothing it could have done to stop me. <clears throat> its conception of the world doesn't contain me in that way. It couldn't even begin to expect something like that. Uh, exactly. Fuck them kids, though. It couldn't even begin to expect something like that. And this is <clears throat> this is the point I want to make about that. That bird's life. That's your physical body's life. That's that's the kind of life it lives. That's what I mean when I say live lucid. Most of the time, we're living in the narrative of of humanity of our of, of the story we tell ourselves about what we are based on the idea of being human um for that bird that, that that's what i wanted that's the the analogy i want to give you it's life it's living i'm here i've made my home my children are doing wonderful i'm teaching them how to feed uh you know, we're, i'm looking through uh the leaves this is such a wonderful day and now what the fuck is going on to my home you know it, it's <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not saying how I look at the bird is stupid for not understanding that. I'm not even saying how I look at you, you're stupid for not understanding it. I'm saying the narrative you have yourself placed in keeps you from seeing the bigger picture. It's not to say throw away the narrative and become unattached from the world because that's stupid. That's ridiculous. You're not going to do it. You're going to get hungry. You're going to get them chicken wings. You're going to see them titties. You're going to want some butt. You're, gonna, you're not going to do that. There's no... There's no utility to doing that in terms of finding what it is you're looking for. When I say live lucid, I mean, don't you, you have to <clears throat> live, live your life a little bit outside of that narrative. I'm not saying destroy and get rid of it and throw it away. No, 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 no. You have to, you have to be able to let it go, not let it go and never touch it again. It's let it go. So you can be, you can see the distinction between the two. So that you, it's like um, the idea where, where, where some people might not know what love is and they have this one idea and they're scared to let it go. But 
unbeknownst to them, if they let it go, they can then embrace a larger idea that they couldn't have conceived from the place they were standing at before. So what I'm saying, live lucid. What I'm, what I'm talking about is get out of the, the narrative of your humanity. Not when I say your humanity, not uh, the, the morals, your expectations, your social uh, rigor morale. When I say your humanity, I mean the idea that what you are is human and that that's what's going on. All right, like 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 uh, people will say they got the shit in the movies and the television. I'm t like, fuck what chakra color you see or what they did to the black man. The, the, the underlying premises of all those television shows is human. That's the programming. It's teaching you this is re this is what's going on in life. This is what life is. This is what life means. These are the things you can expect. These are the things that, that normal are. <sighs> and so when I'm saying live lucid, I'm saying not only see that you okay, you're the bird and you're you're feeding your young, you're taking care of your home. You know, that's the, the scope of your reality. Not because with a human, you're homo sapien, you know, you're gonna have more of a scope to your reality, but I'm saying their scope of reality is likened to that in, in the larger scale of things. And so you have to be able to step outside of it. You know, for the bird, they're not going to expect it to step outside of it. It's not supposed to. That's not that's not the step in nature it's at. The The step of man is the, is the step where you do that. And so when I'm saying live lucid, it's a pulling back from the narrative you have yourself in as the idea. This is, what, this is what I'm saying. Niggas be talking about self. I did this. I did that. It's the I. It's the me. It's the self part. And it's not just saying ego. <sighs> Cause then once again, it's just, a, it's, it's, a, it's a word that you're familiar with. Uh, I was reading this book today and it ended, it ended, it ended well. I didn't really like the book as, uh, as a whole, but it ended well. One of the quotes he, he, he put, he didn't even give an, uh, a, he didn't even give who actually said it. Um, but it was, uh, the death of will, the death of, the death of, uh, I want to say it's wisdom or knowledge. I'm thinking is wisdom. The death of wisdom is familiar words. No, the death of knowledge. It had to be knowledge. The death of knowledge was is familiar words. It's words you think you know, so you don't check. Words you think you know, so you don't check. Like I say before, man, nigga who think he got the answer ain't gonna ask a question. Or not even that. A nigga who would who would like to think they got the answer. Because he when you kind of get something and you ready to tell yourself, oh yeah, I kind of get it, that means you don't get it. Almost doesn't count. Unless it's horseshoes or grenades, almost does not count. It's a fancy way to make yourself feel better in, in the in-between. And congratulations, but you gotta be real with yourself, but that's what that means. Because if you can't say, hey, you know what, I don't know. Where are you gonna have the space to put the new knowledge? You sit here trying to. Well, I, I, I kind of, I kind of got, I kind of got all of it, but I don't really know all. No, you can't have. You can't kind of have all of it. Either you have it or you don't. And the the more willing you are to admit when you don't, the more space you have to get the thing you say you want. Damn, this is hitting from a different angle. Hey Amen. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta give it a snake hook, but you gotta, uh, uh. Uh, so you thought it was just gonna go back and forth and nah, uh, uh, different angle. <laughs> I'm not saying become unattached from the world. When I say live lucid, like that whole unattached, like what are you gonna be lucid of? If you unattach, if you, if you unattach from everything, what are you lucid of? That's not what I'm talking about. That's some spooky Buddha returned. Not even that's not even return to source. That's that's more middle path. That's more um. There is no anything ever at all, and really, it's just one. That's that. That's that's middle path stuff. That's not even return to source. Um. When I say live lucid, I'm not telling you to abandon the physical world. See, that's what a lot of people get into this shit, trying to abandon the physical world. Mm -mm. It's not going nowhere. This, it, this is how it's, it's what it's supposed to be. What is you is the fucked up shit. Not, see, when I say what is you, not what your body is, not what the personality is. The personality is your idea of yourself in that role. 
that's why I say challenge that because anything else you do from there is going to be based in that shit. Like niggas is out here worshiping Western science and don't realize it. Every time you reduce a spiritual concept to Western science, you make Western science the fundamental. And Western science is a framework for conceptualizing reality. It is not reality. Like niggas will be quick to say, you know, there's no outer space, but then tell me about uh, quantum particles and, and atomic structure. And I'm like, hold on. Those those are the same thing, bro. You can't sit here and deny this part, but not this part. How you going to give me flat earth, but then tell me about cells and and, and, uh, and melanin? Mm -mm. Like you, it's mixing and matching jurisdictions. It's not understanding what you're thinking. But if you don't know, if you don't even have a gauge for how to understand when you don't understand how the fuck can you say you about to go out here and do this by yourself? That's just dumb. That's just that's just dumb pride. Like who? Like what bitches are you gonna get from that shot? You ain't getting no bitches from that shot. Mm. This man shot a layup in the dark and want to talk about how come the bitches ain't said nothing about my shot? What you mean, nigga? Ain't nobody see that shit, and it was whack. Add up all the factors. Mm. Whack, you twisted, your girl's a hoe, the kid ain't yours, and everybody know. Fuck you talking about? That's the boy. Mm -mm. This is what I mean when I say live lucid. You, you continue to live. Don't stop living. But do so in a lucid sense. Lucid of what? Lucid of lucid of the narrative, or or or, or rather, because you can't really you can't escape narrative. I'm not, I'm not suggesting escaping narrative. Live lucid of the narrative that you exist in, regardless of this place. Because just like just like there are forces outside of the existence of that bird, that the bird from its perspective can never comprehend, even if it's affected by them. That's the same thing that, that your physical body is involved in. And so you sitting out here trying so desperately to predict the future, to figure out, okay, this is what's gonna happen. I gotta make sure I do this, get my way, get my shit together so this ain't this don't happen or this don't happen. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't care how good your plan is. That I don't care how good that bird's plan is. There's nothing, nothing it could have done about me in this hedge clipper. Nothing it could have done. It, it couldn't have even begun to conceive how it could have done something if there was something it could have done. This is what I'm saying. Like your perspective of your life is, 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 is likened to that bird to the degree to which it is it is inherently ignorant. It has to be ignorant, but it's not a bad thing. It's something to acknowledge. It's something to 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 dance with, to embrace, to comprehend the the limits and bounds of to 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 feel to experience it's not something you i gotta get away from all ignorance and um, no or i gotta unlock my digital so i can return the source no but look if that's what you believe look return the source is right hand path uh there is no anything just one that's middle path left hand path is no nigga you the, you're the divine child as is all else that exists like fuck you me. And then so you you're supposed to stand up and be the fucking king. You have to finish what was started. See, right hand path don't finish what was started. It's just it stays at mama's house. Matter of fact, to the degree to which it's left mama house, the whole thing is about getting back into mama house because she got the good shit in the fridge. Middle path. All there is is I. It's just it's just it's just um oneness. And you know what? There's an argument to be made for all of these things. There's an argument to be made for the idea of returning to source. It can be debated. There's an argument to be made for the idea that there's only one and and and, and all else is uh is Maya. You know, there's an argument to be made. As a matter of fact, I would agree with that. But see, when faced with the same faced with the same circumstances, the left hand path takes a different perspective on the entire thing, which is Okay, so what? So what if it's one? And if, and and, if, and why would you return to source if all is one? Okay, so all that shit's conflicted over there. Let that shit be what it is. What I'm saying is you're the divine child already, but to the degree to which you play human, you're not. Oh shit, nigga said stuff. My apologies. You know me. You and the hedge clipper is a scary sight, bruh. Uh. Imagine being the bird. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Just going on society ejects. Oh. Yo, society ejects. I meant to message you. Make sure you got an email. Um 
after um, after signing up and stuff. Because because uh, well, one other person didn't get an email, and so I had to make sure I went in there and got it. I just wanted to make sure you got an email. I meant to message you about that shit though, especially to a little bluebird like me, old Mordecai out there, bruh. See, that's the thing though. Fear is natural. Fear is natural. Like feelings, feelings are supposed to be there. Like I was talking, I was talking to another dude earlier today. No, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. What's the day? I'm trying to remember when I called him a bitch. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. I'd be hating on this nigga hard all the time though, so I, I don't even remember. But anyways, no, we was talking about who oh, was today. It was today. I remember I'm now because I remember the conversation. It was today because we was talking about feelings, and and uh, he got the impression from something I said that feelings were 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 not were were, were meaningless. I said fuck your feelings. Well, I meant him specifically because I was hating, but not fuck fi- fuck all feelings for all reasons in general. Um, <laughs> you know, like feelings, f- fear is, is is a necessity, but. How you engage with the situation is what makes the difference. And so your relationship to your fear is what makes like you're supposed to have fear. Like maybe the nigga got a point. You know, the bro could be like, hey man, this tiger is about to eat us. And you sitting here like, fear is an illusion. Tiger about to get your ass. Fuck you talking about. But if you just sitting in your house and now you're thinking about, oh my God, what if my mom, you know, what well, what if my mom dies tomorrow? Like, what's gonna happen to her house insurance? Like and you and you and you you fearful like a tiger's there. That's a whole different thing. It's, it's your relationship to your fear, bro. Face your fear. Don't fake it till you make it, bro. Face that shit. Can you pull from all three pillars? You can pull from all three pillars, but I mean, if you if you go if you're trying to pull from all three pillars, what you're gonna end up doing is is inadvertently landing in the middle path. <laughs> um, because this is the thing, you have to make a choice. If you don't, life will make it for you. The bird had to make a choice which bush to be in. Which bush to be in. He don't know what he don't know nothing about me cutting no bush. It could have been across the fucking street. It don't know nothing about houses and how a street post to work. It just see where can I put my house? I'm telling you, you can pull from all three pillars. Um, but you're gonna end it, you're gonna inadvertently end up on the middle path that way. And I'm not telling you where you should or shouldn't be. Um uh just depending on where you're going, you know, where you where you're trying to go. Uh, you can pull. You can pull information from all three. In fact, it, it, there's not. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with any particular path. But it depends on how you how you actually see reality. You know, a lot of people spend a lot of time going from place to place to place, picking up information all over the place, and they got this big pile of information. And they say, "Hey guys, I got knowledge," but it's not. It's just information. Uh, <laughs> and so. And a lot of that shit's fragmented and then you don't have a framework to lay it upon. And so what usually happens if you pick it from everywhere and you don't really if you don't really set down a decision. Uh, a lot of people follow on the Kabbalah and, and it's not to say there's nothing wrong with Kabbalah. Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah is a very intricate system. It's, it's Western. It's, 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 it's at the basis of Western occultism. So you can pull from all three pillars, but it's about understanding what the frameworks are. And, and making a choice as to what, where you stand in the idea. Is it for you return to source? Is it there is only one? Or is it I'm the king? Or I'm about to be the king and nigga, fuck you talking about stand the fuck up. All right, right, middle, left. It's, it's, but, and it's not so much saying it like it's a new sports team, although, you know, niggas are going to do that. So yeah, you can pull from all three paths, but you got to, it's about where you put your feet down and you got to really put your feet down. That's, that's me personally. I think people on the middle path never put their feet down, but that's kind of the work because they're, they're going to the all is one thing. And so it's like all is illusion. So they never really put their feet down anywhere, which is why they end up in the middle. People who do the return to source, that's right hand path. As much people like to say, oh, I'm not Christian no more. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm not on the right hand path. No, right hand path is not just religion. See, it's about it's about the, the essentially the difference between right, left, and middle path is about your is is about the um, the relationship between self and the divine. Okay, the relationship between self and divine. Right hand path, return to source. The relationship of self and divine. Uh, middle path. There is only one, so there ain't no self. Then it's just divine. Left hand path. Your relationship between self and divine. You finish the process that was started. Instead of instead of some you know. You basically grow into the tree like the thing you came from. You finish the work. You finish what was completed as opposed to try and go back up the way you came or do nothing at all. Mm. 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 Fuck me, man. 
What's good, Nappy? Good to see y'all here, man. No cap, bro. You see, I got some extra head. Double head in this motherfucker. No cap. What you talking about? <laughs> I want to earn the right off experiences in the physical. The right off experiences in the physical. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, yeah, man, you can't you can get rid of the physical, man. You got to embrace that shit. And some people try and do little sneaky moves where they, you know, ultimately what they're trying to do is is find out a way to where they can experience a reality where they don't have to experience physical reality anymore. Like a lot of people will think of their problem is, you know, hey, I'm meditating or I'm trying to do my, my visualizations or whatnot, but there's, I still feel so much of the physical world. And I'm like, you're supposed to. Like it doesn't go away. Your body's still there. It's your relationship to it that makes the difference. Not some spooky Buddha state you got to get into where you don't, you know, there's no experience of nothing, anything ever. And you just, ha. Ah. And now you mad at work the next day. Cause you're like, man, I got to get back to my, no, like nigga, you're always the thing. You're always the thing, but what is you? Like, what are you agreeing you is? And what are the implications of that? See, that's the human shit. That's the narrative that's overlaid on top of a physical reality. That's the that's what human is. That's when I say live lucid, get into physical reality. See your body as part of it. Let it go. Like that's the whole tithing thing. It's not give 10% of your money. Fuck you mean. It's give back 10%. 10% is Malkuth. It's 10% of the whole tree of life. You give that back, you get the rest. But you just like one of the monkeys with the hand in the jar and they won't let go of the banana. Like nigga, you you don't want to let go of the banana, so all you got is Malkuth. <laughs> you like, nah, nigga, I let the banana go. You put the shit behind your back. See, I ain't got it no more. Nah, boy, quit playing with me. What is you? Fuck you talking about? <laughs> and then niggas just start saying spooky, do spooky dookie words as if they, you know, there's a right answer that once he gives me the right answer, then he win. Let's stop. No. Mm -mm. <clears throat> To be real with you, I had a fully conscious obey. So like my perception of reality needs grounding. You say obey like obey or was oh, that a different word that I'm not, uh, that it was like a typo or something. To be real with you, I, full, I had a fully conscious out of body experience. Gotcha. Ah, so like my perception of reality needs grounding. It's, it's not, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's, if, if you have the ability to have fully conscious out-of-body experiences i don't think it's your perception that's out of whack i don't think that's your perception that's out of whack what's out of whack is your ontology for reality you don't have the words to 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 frame your reality so that you're settled or or or, or um what's the word what's the word i want to use not grasping it not grasping it so that you're fitted there we go so that you're fitted to it See, after the experience, before you had that experience, what the word, the, the framing you had for reality was easy to fit yourself into and feel comfortable, feel at home, feel nested. But then you have an experience that doesn't fit anything that you have framework for. And so now what you is, is no longer nested and feels like it needs to get grounded again. I'm telling you, it's not, it's not your perception. Cause if your perception can even, if you can, if you can fully have a fully conscious OBE, uh, I guess I'll start saying OBE. <laughs> if you have a fully conscious OBE, uh, it's not a matter of your perception. It's a matter of your ontology. See, a, a lot of people do the psychedelic trips and stuff, and they come back and they have what's called integration, um, which I think is baby food, because niggas, ah, so human. But I get it, though, because that's what they're going to go back to anyways. Um, but they have a thing called integration, where uh, people go through a process of, of, um, that's the word, What's, what's it called when divers go down deep and when they come back up, they have to come back slow and they have to go into a, like a hyperbaric chamber. Uh, it's like that. Is That's what you're experiencing. Uh, the, 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 uh, what do I want to say? The, um, your center of perception. There we go. Your center of perception along with your central conception of self, two different things, your center of perception and your central conception of self. I am i am your center of perception and your central conception of self i am move deeper or there's more pressure i would say you don't have to say because i say deeper there's an inclination of going down and i want to or a, 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 a connotation excuse me the connotation of going down i'm not trying to imply a going down so what i'll say is it, it's experienced more pressure 
uh, or, or you could say less pressure, a difference in pressure. There we go. It's experienced a difference in atmospheric pressure of, of, of its, uh, of its framing of the world. All right. And you're trying to come back up to the surface and you have to depressurize to try and fit yourself. And it's like, it's like you have one of those mushroom trips and then you spend the next three or four days kind of still in a buzz and you don't really know how to, how to bring it all the way back down. Like I could meditate for five minutes, heart rev up like a cat engine. <laughs> then bam, this purple light pop up and I get sucked in like a damn turd going down the toilet. I'm fearful of losing myself. Car. Well, okay. Here's the details. Here's the details. I'm sitting here. I'm, there's, <laughs> there's a nigga in my head as I'm reading it. Like, nigga, why? He's yelling. But look, um, listen to yourself. I get sucked in. I get sucked in. What is you? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying asking a question to make a statement. I'm literally asking a question because the more detail you have on that, the the less likely you are to lose your grasp of it. The more detail you have on that I, the less likely you are to lose your grasp of it. And that's what you're worried about. I'm fearful of losing myself, my possessive, myself, your grasp of that self. Well, how do you grasp it? The context, the details. For example, uh, if I told you Spider-Man and you didn't know any of the context of Spider-Man, just a new motherfucker out of out of the blue, like, like lo, 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 fuck, you know, you know, you know Spider-Man. Here, um, uh, I got a new character for you, Window Girl. Right, Window Girl. You don't got no context. There's no way for you to 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 come to me and say, you know what, man, I, I feel like my life is like Window Girl. I, feel, I, I resonate with Window Girl. How? You can't. There's no context. You have no context to it. So you can't grasp it. Think about the idea. Let's say your name is Brandon, right? All this, the whole, you have all the context in the world for Brandon. You know all the legends, the tales, the hidden apocrypha, the secrets about Brandon. You know all that shit. You got plenty to grasp. You have plenty to grasp. In fact, usually you refer to that stuff as myself. Just like you said, myself. So you have plenty to grasp. That I that you're saying gets sucked in needs some context. Needs some context. And see, that's what I do in the consultations. That's what we do in boot camp. That's part of the self deification. There's a method to the madness, most certainly. That's what I be telling folks. Self deification is the left hand path proper. There's plenty of niggas that talk left hand path. It's just spooky right hand path shit. Like, like, like uh, Ronald Noon and them vampires, it's like spooky right hand path shit. Like, like some, some of like, it's like the, the demon people. Like, you didn't leave Christianity, bruh. You just went to the other side of the house. Like, like out of everything you could fuck with, everything that could exist, you leave in Christianity. I'm done with Jesus. Demons. That's it. You unimaginative bastards. You unimaginative vampire, spooky human, spooky human, you unimaginative bastards. <sighs> self deification is the left hand path. The rest of the shit niggas talking is not left hand path. Oh my god. Like all this activate your DNA, chakra, spinal cord, that's not left hand path, bro. Because what, what did you just reduce all of this to? The physical world. That's what I mean, literally, when I say mystifying the mundane. They reduce spiritual concepts to physicality. And all of physicality is Malkuth, bro. All of physicality is Malkuth. Like niggas see, this is why, like you ask, if you can pull stuff for all three, all three paths on, all three pillars on the tree, please do. Bro, investigate the tree, especially from a Western, we're living in a Western culture right now. So like the tree of life, Kabbalah, that's that's the some of the like foundational shit in Western occultism. The English language pairs very well with it. So you're not going to pair the English language to fucking uh, Sanskrit or Hebrew. Some shit that, 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 that exists for people who spoke Hebrew. And now you're trying to translate it with English. You, it's not going to fit. But the language you speak fits with that shit. It fits with what, the whole realm of Western occultism. So it's not about finding the person who's telling you what to do. It's no nigga, what you supposed to do. You you know what to do, but what is you? So you play a human and so you can't see the forest for the trees. That's why when you start to live lucid, that's when you can start to say, okay, wait, this is this is this is a tree. If I, if I move out here, this, this is all the forest together and you can you can move back and forth. 
I'm like, I'm not, like I'm saying, I'm not telling you to get rid of the forest or the trees. I'm telling you to learn the distinction. An unimaginative bastard is something I fear to be. That's probably because you already that. I can I uh, I can taste it in the comment. God damn. Ugh. Currently analyzing the part of me that is an unimaginative bastard. There we go. There we go. See, that that's how you do it. Because if you don't want to be it, if that's really the the the, the state of being you'd like to possess in the future, you got to check the now and the past as to whether or not that's you, <laughs> and that's that's included in the myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but the the unimaginative shit. That's what I mean. Like niggas who reduce this shit to the physical body is so unimaginative. Not only did you miss the how this shit is framed, but then that's the first. That's what you got is spooky human. You could do anything, nigga. You could be anything, but you get what you ask for. You always get what you ask for, niggas. Oh, I don't have the feelings. That's not what I'm talking about. Be 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 cool, bro. Chill out. Living lucid. That's my topic. You got to get out of your own way. Everything else is perfect, but it's you that everything else is waiting on. It's you. Not some new thing you need to go unlock. Not some new book you got to read. What is you? What is you? Because I'll tell you what. Even if you don't know what it is, you've been using it. <laughs> you've been using it. Well, what the fuck this thing is you've been doing? Fuck the new thing you think you need to go do to change something in your life. Nigga, what have you been doing? And what are the implications of it? What have you created? That's it. That's what niggas need to look at. See, you will have more work to do for the rest of you. There's so much to do there. There's never not some new shit there. But no, niggas want to go find a new thing and, and Anunnaki come and uh, Blue Beam and... <sighs> One thing that trips me out is the beings that you experience on the other side do not do that telepathy shit. These motherfuckers use your own vocabulary to speak to you. <laughs> then nigga, they read thoughts and shit. Look, yeah, what? Look, if you want to, if you want to turn this shit up, uh, because I was about to just start eating. If you want to turn it up, bro, stop using words to communicate with them. Like. Like that's the is that I had like four things I was gonna tell you to do and I was I was gonna get mad. No, be real, don't eat kids. Um, that's what that's the first thing you need to do is stop using words. That's some human ass shit here. I need to make a particular sound, even though I could have thought seven things before I did that. Mm mm. Don't speak with words. That's human as fuck. That's human as fuck, bro. That's some meatbag monkey shit. Quit using words. My fact, if you need to, don't even give yourself a mouth. What you gonna do? Eat something? Shut up, right? Don't even give yourself a mouth. Use symbol. Use like, like bro, symbol can speak for itself when you can listen. I'm telling you, and that's not. I don't mean that in any literal sense. So you're like you're trying to listen to a, a, a. Oh my God, no! It's like you walk into a classroom. All the chairs are pointed in the front, and the teacher's desk is in the front. The symbols, where the, the placement of the chairs tells you what's going on in the room. Like, you can, it, maybe it's not a classroom. Maybe it's a, 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 a mostly empty room with a circle of chairs. The, ch the Where things are placed tells you what, what's supposed to happen in the room. Like, a nigga walk in the room, see a circle of chairs, he ain't gonna go stand in the corner. He gonna sit in one of the chairs in the circle. He ain't even gonna turn it away from the circle. He gonna sit in the circle, and ain't nobody say nothing. Symbols can speak for themselves, but you gotta, you are, bro, this is what I be saying, nigga, you already do this shit, but the what is you is the thing that is fucking you up. I know from experience, I, I can guarantee you it's the you thing that's fucking you up. What have you been doing? Yeah, 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 nigga, that's, that's the, cause look, bro, it, that's what I'm saying, like, these be so ass backwards cause they're not into reason. If you the thing that's everything, that's got all this power, all this shit, right? Imagine what you've been creating. You come around, you come to the place where you're thinking, that oh, you finally realize, hey man, I can do all this stuff, bro. I can I can create this, I can create that. I'm so powerful, I'm doing shit I don't even know, nigga. Okay, cool. But look back at all that shit you created. Because I guarantee you the effects of that is the issues you have in. Not the perfection of the universe and your perception of it. No. It's the shit you've been agreeing to. You mind if I call in words 
don't give this shit justice. I mean, like, going to live? Yeah, I don't care. It's alive. Text and words, bro. You gotta get better words. I'm telling you, bro. Words are a thing, not just the, oh, it's a symbol with the symbols and the, oh, it's the sound vibration. No, nigga, it's a handle for thought. Nothing physical there. It's a handle for thought. It's, it's a way that you grasp thought. You can grasp a particular thought with it. Did I click it? I know I clicked it. I know I clicked it. This one will pop up. This ain't it? Yo. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, I knew I My did that. My guy was good. What? See, look. What's like, going bro, on, bro? Nigga, let me tell you. I'm going to start off in the beginning. Like, bro, I wasn't on no spiritual shit. Like, I was a Christian. I played football. Like, nigga, I went to college. I think my roommate was on that type of shit, though, because he was like, yo, bro, you know about the Rothschilds and all that other shit. I'm like, oh, word. Like, young, young <laughs> generation of mine. So I'm like, oh, word. Rothschilds. Like, bro, they run the money, all that other shit. I'm like, damn, these niggas lied to me my whole entire life. I'm like, damn. And then he started talking about Freemasons and all that other shit. And I'm like, okay, cool. This nigga said, yo, you know there's a lodge right next to this goddamn school. And like, I was at a uh, JUCO. I had dropped out of college because I wanted to go D1. So long story short, I mean, long story short, we pull up to the goddamn Freemason Lodge on some kid shit, just looking around. And I ain't gonna lie, it was like two police cars watching us. And I'm like, oh shit, like, bro, we gotta get the fuck up out of here. And then, like, this is around the time niggas was talking about that planetary alignment, black people supposed to be getting superpowers and all this other shit. So, niggas is doing a new one of those every month these days, man. man. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, this nigga said, yo, you should try meditating. I'm like, all right, fuck it, let me try this shit. So at first, I started doing the frequency shit, so like 432 hertz. And I say the night before I had the OBE, no, the same day I had the OBE, I had a little experience. Like, I was meditating, and then I heard his voice telling me to love myself, all this other shit. I started, like, remembering, like, <laughs> shit in the past. I'm like, all right, like, man, like, like, all that weak ass shit, 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 nigga. Ass shit. Like, the time, I'm like, oh my God, like, this, this is crazy. This shit real. Like, I'm going through something. And then I'm like, all right, bet. I, the voice told me that my alarm was about to go off. And then my alarm went off. My like, oh shit, this shit real, nigga. Like, oh, I'm about to keep doing this shit. Man, nigga, uh, uh, I get out of class. I tell my roommate, I'm like, yo, bro, we should try meditating in the car. He was like, all right, word, bet. bet. It's around like nine o'clock. I smoke a blunt with him. I'm thinking the weed has something to do with this shit. It's not lace, it's normal weed. Like, it's some OG. So we roll up some OG in the car. He cuts on 432 hertz again. Um, 432 hertz was playing for like five minutes. I started seeing the purple ball in my um in the darkness type shit. And then I remember this nigga cut off the beat and put on 440 hertz this time. And, I, and then I felt like my breath changed. Like mm -hmm. like I lost my, my breath on some shit. And then I felt like my heart. What actually, nigga? It wasn't even my heart. It was where my heart supposed to be at. Cause I checked my pulse. My post was fine, but I'm feeling like, I'm talking about my shit going like, <laughs> like on some cardiac arrest shit. Like, I don't know what was going on. I'm like, I'm an athlete, so I'm thinking like this shit regular. Like I've been tired before, like this ain't shit. So I closed my eyes, bro. And nigga, shit started getting real. Like the purple ball <laughs> turned into some Renegon. You watch Naruto? <laughs> The hell yeah, I was you know, the Renegon go. nigga. I'm talking about the yeah. to the Renegon. I know the Renegon. Yeah, bro. And I'm Ooh. like, at the time, I'm like, hell yeah. Hey, bro, I got the curse mark on my neck, too. Well, what fuck you talking yeah. about? But yeah, so, <laughs> nigga, like, I remember at the time, I was really empowered. Because I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I'm just happy that I'm able to experience some cool shit that's not normal. So, mm -hmm. it was like that um breaking period where you're like, you can back out or you can keep going. I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. I'm ready, nigga. Let's go. Let's go. And I remember like, I feel myself gripping the seat and then I'm gripping the seat and then I feel myself spinning. But my vision is like straight. I can't explain it, but I, I feel like a spinning and I'm straight. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, bet. Like this shit happening. Then I hear and I get shot up. And I'm talking about, nigga, you mm -hmm. seen what a, you seen a lava lamp? Like how the mm -hmm. lava lamp look? It's like everything around me is that liquid inside of it but like every single cup like the rgb spectrum like it's all those colors in one but and i can't explain like the 
the dynamics of this shit, but I feel like I'm getting like I'm not no not that I feel like I'm literally getting shot up into this like translucent tube of everything around me, all these colors and shit. I remember like I, I could still feel human like human shit. So I'm like I'm scared. Like I could still feel my heart. But I don't know that mm -hmm. I don't have a body at this time. Like, I don't know that I don't got a body. You feel me? So it's like I'm tripping. So I'm going up, and I remember like I had to surrender a bit because I'm like this shit beautiful like I ain't gonna lie I'm like this shit crazy but I'm still scared I don't know how the fuck I'm moving I don't know where the fuck I'm going but I'm moving so it is what it is I get shot up to this I can't explain this shit I, I guess I reached to the top I guess just me saying this shit in human words this fucking rectangle dropped down I'm talking about the rectangles remind me of some Tron shit I don't even know how the, Ooh. where did the rectangle come? I can't even explain that. I don't even know where rectangle came from, but it dropped down, nigga. And I kind of float in. I don't know how I'm moving, but I'm moving. And then the first fucking thing I see is the caduceus. The two serpents around this staff and the chocolate balls down the middle. Mm -hmm. And nigga, like, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm like, this nigga, this bro, I'm right I'm like, this big ass bro, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, word. Like, I don't know what's going on. And then, I don't know how I maneuver around the shit, but I guess I maneuver around it and it's shape moving up and down, left and right, like gears and shit. And then it's like a Legion of Doom table. It's like eight beams, nigga. And I'm talking about on the right hand mm. side, they're like, we all, what, you ever, this is meme from uh, this meme I used to look at. It's called the Fields. It's like this weird old bald headed reptilian white little thing lizard looking motherfucker mm -hmm. so they were on the right hand side it was like two of them um in the, the middle was this egyptian lady and i could have sworn i had seen a picture of that egyptian lady before i had this out of body experience so i'm guessing so maybe the being shows something that's familiar to me to present themselves in type shit i'm not sure usually that's that's usually how it has to work. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my whole story going there. Hell yeah. yeah. Then on the left side, I, I don't even remember what them niggas look like. They were all black and they had red eyes. But um, the beings on the right side, though, above the head of one of them had this yin yang sign. And let me get a quarter or something to explain how that shit was spinning. Because it wasn't like spinning 360, my nigga. It was going some, it was going some other shit. So I'm going to use this penny. So it's, mm -hmm. it's going like this. You feel me? Like, like that above their head. Not like this, but like, it's going on like that. Mm -hmm. And then, like I, I said, the telepathy shit had me fucked up, cause I'm thinking, cause don't forget, this is my human self. I ain't did no type of work before any of this, so I'm on some human shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, nigga? Oh, hell no. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, I'm thinking this shit. These niggas is listening. This nigga said, hey, I swear to God, I swear to all my mother's soul, this nigga said, Yo, nigga, calm down. I swear to God, the being floated, like, out, like, I guess it kind of floated to me a little bit and said, nigga, calm down. It's nothing to be scared of. And I said, nigga, what the fuck do you mean ain't nothing to be scared of? Like, <laughs> how the fuck you gonna tell me ain't shit to be scared of? Like, bro, what the fuck? The nigga got to back up a little bit because he knew he had me fucked up. And mm -hmm. it's like I had my human thoughts. And I had whatever I was at the time stopped. So it's like, it's really mm. freaky, you feel me? So they, mm. dude, they couldn't talk to me. So everything in the room went black. And I'm talking about, bro, I don't know who the fuck this nigga was that came in. What's up, baby? But I don't know who the fuck this nigga was that um, came in at the end. It was like no facial features. Black and white translucent flames around it in the shape of a ram. And I'm talking about nigga on some Hunter x Hunter shit. I felt this nigga aura. I'm talking about nigga, I mm -hmm. felt like this nigga could step on me like I was done. Like, it felt like when this nigga spoke, I had to listen. Like, like that's the most fear I've ever felt in my entire life. I ain't never been scared of shit. Word of my mother, never been scared of shit. But this motherfucker right here had it, nigga, on my mama. This nigga said on some corny shit, what is it that you want to know? And I'm like, I don't know, like, nigga, what? like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, I don't even know what's going on. Like, for real. And I remember, like, this is where shit get a little blurry a little bit. It said a lot of shit to me really, really fucking fast, like on some download shit. But then I remember, I remember getting conscious again. I remember asking this shit. 
on some little pissy Christian shit. And I've never said some shit like this before. So I said, can you direct me to the light? This motherfucker laughed at, no, oh, no, no, I didn't say that first. I said this, this is what's been helping me on my path right now. I asked it if there was such thing as good and evil. And this motherfucker laughed at me and said, there's no such thing. And this is when the Christian in me came out. I'm like, oh, Ooh. hell no. I got to get the fuck up out of here. I'm talking to the devil or something. I got to go, nigga. I got to get the fuck up. So, my little scary ass said, can you direct me to the light? This nigga should be a gold ball of light. Like, a, like almost like a miniature sun. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. my soul or something. I don't know what it showed me, but it showed me this gold ball of light. And I feel myself like getting my senses back, like my five senses. And that shit don't feel good. It feel nasty. Like you get all hot and shit. I come back. This shit is nasty. It's <laughs> nasty as fuck. I come back. The after image of this motherfucker is overlaid on the physical. This nigga said, tell your roommate you love him. I said, nigga, what? He said, say it. I'm like, at the Woo! time, I didn't know what he meant by that. So I come Woo! back my body. I look at my room and I said, bro, you had no idea what the fuck just happened to me. He said, bro, look like you were struggling. I said, bro, I guess I'm supposed to tell you I love you, my nigga. As soon as I said that shit, the nigga disappeared. And I'm talking like, bro, I'm blind as fuck. I can see perfect for like 15 minutes. I ain't gonna hold you like that. I'm just staring at the stars and shit. I'm freaking out like, Nigga told me to write this shit down, bro. And <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I have a an ability to do that shit again, but nigga, I'm scared. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole feeling of the heart shit. Like, it really feel like I die to go up there type shit. It feel like if I fuck up, I'm gonna have a heart attack, and that's gonna be it. Like, I'm attached to the physical. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. I love, I love physical shit, but I know I'm connected up there, so. It's a confliction type shit. And after that, yep. I had to face my, my, I like to call it this shit like syntax errors. You know how you code and shit? And you put in the mm -hmm. wrong code and it gets you a syntax error? Like I had to mm -hmm. correct all the syntax errors in my mind. I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's what I said. It wasn't. It's not your perception. It's your ontology. That's it, 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 you. Yeah, you gonna get back that syntax error. Yeah. That's it. I like that analogy. That's a good analogy. Like, bro, I syntax. Like, a lot. That shit opened me up mentally. So mm -hmm. you know how normal mm -hmm. days have thoughts in your head, nigga. I'm thinking these thoughts ain't even me. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm going crazy for like a week. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, I smoke a blunt. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. the fact, I smoke a blunt. I can see my fucking hands with my eyes closed. So at this point, I guess I'm open all the way to fuck up. I'm trying to figure out how to seal myself. Like, nigga, I was hearing voice. I ain't gonna lie, I called out for Jesus' name one time. This shit worked. It worked. Yeah, it does work. Bro, this, this, look, this is what I'm saying. The language you speak is deeply tied to Western, uh, 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 Western occultism. That's why it's gonna work. No, no care. The word Jesus and God is deeply ingrained in the English language and in, 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 in how your thoughts are framed. So, like, yeah, it's gonna work. Oh, oh, hell yeah. So it's like, I mean, I've I got mean, a grander understanding of what the fuck is going on. Because it's like, since I'm aware of myself up there, that shit keeps mm -hmm. down, down here. It be feeling like a yeah. nigga not human no more. Like, bro, I be feeling like I have to inject myself in scenarios and shit. Like, nigga, wherever I go, whenever I try to get a job, it be some bullshit. Like, nigga, I, I, I did a bouncing gig. Nigga got shot right in front of me. And then the whole issue with some shit. Like, nigga be knowing some shit about to go down before it happens. But I can't stop it from happening. I know some shit gonna happen, but I can't. Of course not. Happen. It's supposed to. Like, this place is perfect. Like, bro, this of course shit, you can't change it. I can't, even, I can't be a normal person no more. So I'm trying to figure out how to goddamn maneuver with this new understanding. Like, nigga, I thought I was gonna be in the league. Like, I really doubt that ass that I was what doing me? football, NFL, oh. all this other shit. Like now, I have to goddamn figure out. I have to stay away from motherfuckers because niggas just be bringing me into they shit, and then it be a whole lot of like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh uh, no! I, I know. I know what you're talking about, bro. I've been there. Yes, and, and to, to, for for to a good degree, I'm still there because you know the, the, it don't change at all. But the, here's the here's the here's the question though. Here's the question because because first of all, I appreciate you being able to acknowledge your own fear because most people most people waste a lot of time not even oh, doing yeah, that right. Oh, I'll be the first nigga to say that shit ain't no joke. For y'all niggas nah. listening, this shit ain't no joke. This shit is fucking real, nigga, on my mama. I swear to God.
But here's the question though, bro. Yeah. Um, because I, I, I can most certainly help you. I, I, but do you have to be willing to give up a lot of, of what you thought you are? Because this is the thing, I, like I said, it's, when I say it's your ontology, it's, it's the basic, the basic things in your presuppositions about the re reality, the basic things that you tell yourself exist and don't exist and that you use to frame the world. And those things are what's been messed up because they're they're framed based on the old person you've yeah. been, and so now you're introducing yourself to another thing. And, and see, with you're gonna have to give up your idea of what you think this is supposed to be, because just like you seen, like old boy getting shot in front of you, knew it's, you knew it's coming. Yeah, ain't nothing you could do to stop it because this this thing is already set, but because you're so ingrained and attached to it. You can't see the forest for the trees, like I was saying. And so what you got to do is get a bird's eye view and sit in that position of that that ball of light old boy showed you. And not just sit there, because that's what a lot of niggas do, just hum, you know, spooky Buddha shit. I'm not saying just sit there, but you need to become as intimate with yourself at that level as you are with this stuff. Like, I like, what's your name? They call me Zip, but Zip. my bird okay. name is Tice. Cool. I'll call you Zip because I'll be they too. I don't mind it, bro. Um, so look, to the degree to which you know all of Zip's history, you know what he like, how he do what he do, why he wear what he wear, you know all the terrible shit about him, all the secrets, you know all that shit. To the degree to which you know yourself as Zip, you need to be able to know yourself as that. At the very least, a name, some imagery, some definition, something you can grasp. You feel me? No, I feel you, my nigga. Really? Yeah, because it, 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 and trust me, this is this is it's like some shit. You know, you I give you the the magic uh, secret to do. You go do it, and you you good for the next seven the the, the ten years. No, yeah, like this is I'm like welcome going, to the game, my nigga. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Welcome to the this game. Shit ain't no <laughs> well, what, I did not. Oh my mama! I swear to God, this was bullshit. <laughs> like, bro, a nigga really spent his whole life playing football. Dedicated to the craft, just to have an out of body experience, to have his whole life flip upside the motherfucker down. Niggas gotta do all types of healing. Niggas gotta cut motherfuckers off. Niggas gotta stop this. Like, bro, this shit's bullshit. Like, nigga, ignorance is bliss. I was happy to be. I was trying to tell a nigga that the other day. Bro. Mm. I was happy to watch that thing, shit. Here's the thing about good and evil. This is why it was funny, because I laughed at that shit too. The motherfuckers who was sitting on the right in that room you was in, they had the um, yin and yang symbol, and you said it was spinning. See, usually, with the idea of good and evil, is going like this. But that one, going like this. It was making a sphere as opposed to a circle. So you were beyond the level of that, of, of mere duality. You know, like, because you was in your proper persona, but then once you started to get scared, that was you pulling yourself back down to some zip no. ass shit. I know, cap. It's like, bro, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Know he like it's. It's like I want to earn it. Like I, like yes, I, you got in my to. head. Like you I know to. I'm something crazy, but at the same time, it's like I'm. I got the difficulty on veteran. It's like a nigga already know who he is type shit. But I have my difficulty on veteran, so it's like everything is slower. Like, bro, I'm only 22 years old. You feel me? It's like a nigga know what he's supposed to do, but it's like, do I want to do that right now? Like, a nigga kind of like fucking around a little bit. You feel me? Like, a nigga want to be a human for a little bit longer. Let me tell you right now, right now, bro. At 22, you don't know. Like, like I, 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 I get the feeling, but it, look, Pete, Pete this was this, like follow me for just a moment. Yeah, I'm listening. Um, the thing, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, to, you you know yourself is zip. Not only is zip about to change over the next 10 years as you go from 22 to about 35, but the shit that the part of you that ain't even zip is about to unfold. So that's like all this stuff that you, like, to the degree to which you know yourself, that's only the shit you've been. And it, and it, it almost don't even it only applies so much as to the degree to which you still got to hold on to it and you don't have to hold on to it for a while yeah, no so, so i mean it, it's i get the feeling of i i i've 
I've come to a greater place than I've ever been before. I get the feeling of, um, you know, I'm seeing things, I'm seeing, I'm seeing things so much more clearly than I ever have before. I get that, especially at 22. But this is what I'm saying. What you're experiencing right now is your first one. No, oh, fuck. It's your first one, kiddo. I'm so serious. <laughs> it's your first yeah. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I I have one regret. I should ask this nigga, can I get superpowers? And I was like, I also child and shit. This nigga asked you what I wanted to know. I could have. This is the off like this is what been stuck on my mind. If I was did the work, if I understand who I was, I could have asked this motherfucker for some cool shit, like something I could really like prosper off of. But then. My mind be like, that's some ego shit, nigga. Like, is that like what you want to do? You want to just, I don't know, bro. It's, it's confliction. No, I, no, I get it. Because it's, um, more properly, it's it's pride, not necessarily ego. It's, but it's Zip's pride. And that's the problem. See, let's say, let's say that the you beyond your, you know, just this, this Zip stuff. Let's say that you, its name is Cliff, yeah. right? Let's say its name is Cliff. When you working from Cliff's pride, Pride is just fine. See, Zip's pride is a sin. Cliff's pride is the good shit. Like you heard of the seven sins and the seven virtues? Yeah. That's like we're talking there's 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 seven on each side because it's like the inside and the outside of a cube. The cube's got the six points and then the center point in the middle. Seven and seven. Okay. Um when you're doing when you're doing it from Cliff's pride, I me mean, uh, from from Zip's pride, you inside the box. And so you're trying to give that nigga in the box the superpowers that the nigga out the box ain't got to fight for. The nigga in the box ain't supposed to have those. The nigga in the box supposed to be playing the game in the box. Nah, no it's, like, it's like if you was playing Super Mario and you mad that Super Mario don't fly. Well, nigga, play a game where a nigga fly. Right now you playing Super Mario. You know, use the fireballs if you got them. But like, because once you start to open yourself up beyond the idea of just zip and start to get in the cliff, start to be able to know yourself as that, similar to how you know yourself as zip you your your ability to play the game as zip will be will be changed it's like if you if you you know uh you know how they used to have the guidebooks for video games yeah. you just want to know yeah like you, you go and buy the guidebook for the video game and tell you all the cheats and shit yeah imagine you play the game first then you stop you go get the guidebook you read the whole guidebook and you play the game again the game get played a whole differently right no nah, no cap yeah. now imagine how how the nigga in the game felt a minute ago he was playing the game awful terrible for him that whole pause the game leave come back he experienced nothing he he, he don't know that change that's some zip level shit but all of a sudden he playing the game in a way he ain't never played before yeah. but see you want to be playing the game not from the zip level not from the nigga in the box not from the nigga in the game you want to be playing from cliff the nigga who's playing the game and when you start playing from there that's when your shit changes you won't even you, well, you won't even you won't even worry about superpowers because shit will shit move will shit will move so smoothly. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. One, there's one thing that I haven't told you that's happened after the out of body experience. Like I ain't gonna lie, this shit get injured, bro. Like I said, I feel like I put the difficulty on veteran. Now this injury ain't no normal shit. Like it's some mm -hmm. shit. Nigga don't went to the doctor about this shit, and they say I'm healthy. These niggas trying to tell me I got scoliosis. Like, bro, I can't fucking breathe properly on my left head, my left side. I'm thinking, like, that has some type of spiritual indication because it's on my left side. It's when like, did it start? Literally, uh, uh I say, uh, actually, a little bit before the out of body experience. Like, a little bit after the, uh, yeah, a little bit before the out of body experience. But I'm knowing everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I can't deny that fact. So I know that this, what I'm going through, is probably some type of initiation into some other shit. Cause like my pain tolerance is OD. Like when you're living with pain and discomfort, it, it, it changes your perception on a lot of shit. Like I'm hard headed. Well, Zip mm -hmm. is hard headed. Zip's gonna play football regardless. So niggas had to do some shit to Zip. <laughs> so Zip don't do some dumb shit. <laughs> it's like, nigga, I know. But it's like, just because I know don't mean a nigga can fucking, oh, I know now. Like, you can't mm -hmm. do nothing with a knowing. You can only do shit with yeah. wisdom type shit. You yeah. Know? Oh. So Bruh, like, see? Nigga got mm. to go Thank through you. the shit still. 
Like the reason why I'm talking yes. to you is I feel like I'm. This is just a nigga can I can speak my truth and a nigga understand what the fuck I'm talking about without looking motherfucking crazy type shit. You feel oh me? hell yeah! Like a nigga that, that's what I'm trying to tell like niggas. Girl. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell niggas because because the shit the shit I talk to motherfuckers about they never talked about with anybody else. They never get to. And not yeah. only that, imagine you can't never talk to nobody else, but somebody you gotta get them to be able to understand. No, I understand exactly what you're talking about. I've been there. Yeah, I know. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh, this is your first one. <laughs> it's so fun. You say this shit fun, nigga. I don't think this shit fun at all. This shit annoying. I, I, me I remember my first one because it took me a uh, took me a whole week to come back too. Like my body was just on autopilot. I was just looking at people. I barely spoke. I would do. I would do. I would do shit just wrong. And then just see, I just be looking at it. Nope, not gonna do nothing. Can't do. I couldn't do nothing for a week nah, until I could find some kind of ground. And that was the first did, one. Did you ever that go through was, that, that phase where one. you got down, where you just try like the karma shit, like you do some shit to see what the outcome would be? But okay, well, bet I know that all this shit is real. So let me put shit to the test. Like a nigga go to the store, I steal something, and try to figure out what the outcome would be of me stealing that shit. And every time mm -hmm. I did some shit, it mm -hmm. wouldn't happen immediately. But I guarantee mm -hmm. something would happen to me some along in a week or two weeks to be some shit. So it's mm -hmm. like, damn. So my actions do have consequences. So no matter yeah. what, I, I could talk to somebody and that, that could give me bad karma. I could be around somebody and that shit could have an effect on me two weeks from now. So it's like, <laughs> I don't want to be around niggas no more. <laughs> niggas bring the worst out of me. Like, bro, I'm bro. in Morgantown, oh West Virginia, God. where the white folks that be fucking each other be at. My mm -hmm. dumb ass working at the club where all the black niggas at. And then I'm wondering why I keep putting myself in fucked up situations. On my mama nigga, hey, Isabel, I was working at Dunkin' Donuts with my bitch, bro. I met this fake occultist white nigga who was going through a transgender shit. And I told this nigga, I said, on oh, my mama, bro, my intuition is telling me one thing, bro. I was selling the weed, too. I said, bro, I'm either in your life for, for a good thing or a bad thing. And I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's either one of the two. He said, you going to help me or I'm going to fuck you up. And like, I told this nigga straight up. <laughs> Apparently, one day, this nigga said I skimped him. I ain't skipped this nigga, man. I gave this nigga two rounds on the dot. Look the fuck I look like skipping niggas. I'm happy. Uh, I go to work the next day. <laughs> this nigga right this next to me. And I felt it in my soul. I'm like, oh, I'm about to get into some bullshit. This nigga texts me and he right next to me saying, well, I don't like the way that you, uh, you uh, doing some little feminine shit. Cause you know when transgenders, they be on the pills and shit. Like, they going through that shit. And I remember this nigga telling, I had this conversation with this nigga the day before. He was like, oh yeah, uh, I'm working with Pan. Uh, I'm working with Pan. I'm working with the Boston mm. Mac. I'm doing all this other shit. He's like, he's like, oh, this DD is for transgenders. And in my head, I'm like, oh God, this nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm over here trying to get advice from a nigga that don't know what the fuck going on. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna end up being a nigga in this nigga life to fuck him up. I'm like, I'm already going. But fast forward to this shit. This nigga start yelling and screaming. I said, yo, bro, look at me and look at you. I will fuck you up. Please yeah. stop. I'm not trying to get fired. I literally just got this motherfucking job. It hurt to be in here, because like I said, I got the injury. So mm -hmm. just being around people, it hurts. But such a such, pull out a knife, and I'm like, oh, damn, damn. I'm either end up killing this, this nigga in here, or this nigga finna stab me, or I'm about to just get the fuck up out of here. And I thought I was handling the situation perfect. I said, yo, bro, you want to do something? Let's go outside. Woo, woo, woo. He calling me bitch this, pussy this. And zip, don't play that shit. My higher self mm -hmm. don't give a fuck. Cause it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's me. But zip, don't play that. I gave this nigga five opportunities. This nigga go out and pull a knife from his back pocket. And nigga, I'm talking about, I, I'm so con conscious at this point. Like I'm not seeing red. I consciously made the effort to fuck this nigga up. Like I grabbed this nigga's neck I said, I my fist. Boom! Drop this nigga. This nigga goes and grab my dick. I said, hey, yo, this nigga finna stab oh, me in my dick. Oh. This nigga finna stab me in my dick. All the co-workers come. This nigga oh. grabbing on my knees. I'm just pounding this nigga like, no, no, oh. I'm beating this nigga ass, oh. son. I'm trying to get this nigga off me. And 
in my head, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to snap this nigga neck or something. Like, I don't know, but like, what guy want me to do, bro? I'm trying. Like, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> you let go, I, I let go. I said, nigga, I'm not holding on to you. You holding on to me. This nigga get up, <laughs> nose this way, bleeding from the head. I'm just sitting here like, bro, I told you, bro. I, I specifically told you not to fuck with me. Like, I gave you the opportunity not to do this shit, bro. Then the nigga had the nerve to call the police on me, gang. The police, of course. Called, I'm, I'm you see, I'm talking, I'm talking to police the same way. I'm like, man, this gay ass nigga pulled a knife out on me, bro. What the fuck y'all want me to do, nigga? Like, like what? I'm just supposed to let the nigga grab me? Like, what? It's, it's a nigga trying to be a bitch. Like, I'm not about to sit in the car and call that. My ego don't play that. Shit. But after that shit, though, homie, I get home. My roommate gave me a letter <laughs> saying I'm getting unemployment. I had got uh, wrongfully fired from a job before that. So I'm like, okay, this shit is supposed to happen. I was supposed to beat his ass so I could not work and I could focus on myself type shit. So I'm getting unemployment money and you know what I'm saying? That's not enough. So I go and get a job at this bouncing gig. And so, you know, like I just said, the nigga, man, the crazy thing is like, I could have, I had a gun on me. The, uh, uh, the other so you nice, <laughs> you nice. <laughs> like, bro, like, hold up, man. Like, where am I today? Like, man, I, I'm ready. Like, I got me a little block. <laughs> you know I'm ready for anything. If I'm not playing, nobody kick it. I, Wait, okay, so, 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 what you're saying is, what you're saying is, is that, you know, you, you, you starting to see first of all. How, how things are connected. You spoke about, you know, kind of like the synchronicities, uh, the karma, which is a form of, 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 of it's a form of cause and effect. Uh, but I mean, there's more detail to that, but just, just to be general. Um, so, but, so this is the thing, you, you've seen the connections with things, um, but how do I want to say this? That's, that's, this is just the, this is just you looking at the door, bro. Like you hadn't even opened the door yet. Like, like okay, like you were talking about how you were kind of testing, testing to see how, how things work, right? Uh, that in that phase, what you're sort of doing is you're, you're you're proving it to yourself. You're giving yourself the evidence you need to to believe it. Okay, um, like I remember I was <clears throat> when I was doing that shit. Uh, I had been fucking, I had been doing, I had been trying to prove it to myself for months at this point. Uh, just being a bitch, nigga, right? Yeah. And so uh, I'm driving, and I had this one de I have this one deity. His name is Rudolph, um, and Rudolph is good at at messing with people's minds, um, you know, distracting people. And so I'm like, okay, I'm driving around. I'm dri mind you, I'm driving. I'm driving through Atlanta, Georgia, no plane on my car. You know, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm about to figure out how to see what's going on. Yeah. And so um, I'm worried. About, okay, like I'm, I'm telling them, okay, look, bro, take care of the police, man. I want I want to see you do it, nigga. You know, so I'm, I'm riding, I'm driving now. I see a police car up there. And so I'm getting close. And I'm, you know, feeling the heart beating and shit, got the yeah. fear and everything. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. Let me, let me see. And, and I pull up close and the lights, on, I mean, the lights on the car come on, bro. The lights on the car come on. I'm like, what the fuck? And he pulled somebody else over. Nigga. Like, Damn. Boy, what? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. But, but see, like, <clears throat> See, that was, that's what I'm saying. Like, you go through a place where you have to build up certain evidence to where you 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 can see it. The thing is, but where you don't want to trip up at that step is is Zip's pride. Because Zip going to get in the thing where I'm, oh, uh oh, uh oh, nigga, I'm superhuman. I'm the special guy. But what you, you got to remember is Zip is a nigga too. As much as Zip don't like, Zip is a nigga too. And that's going to keep Zip where he needs to develop properly as opposed to that, that way you can get the cliff side going because because look when i tell you cliff like when we talking about this I'm, like i was talking with the analogy about the dude playing yeah. the video game right yeah. when i say cliff because we sitting here we talking from in the game um we using the words and the ideas and everything from here cliff is about as much, much as i can give you bro when i tell you cliff is just the thumbs on the controller bro that's a direction you got to go to figure out the rest of the shit because you know you know how people will say go within right yeah. <clears throat> but most of these motherfuckers are wrong as hell because what they say within means is the body and this is why they're wrong because if if go within yourself is the body then that means yourself is the body what they've done is they've mystified the mundane and reduced these spiritual concepts to physical world things 
I'm gonna give you a better example of what it means to go within, okay? Right. Um, the front, the, the framework of man, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, right? Um, uh, right? We, we, we know it. Um, it's similar to the way a hand works. I'm gonna use the hand to give you the analogy, right? Let me move this up so you can see my hand. Okay? All right. So, on your hand, you got thumb and the four fingers. The thumb got these two little nubs right here. Each of the fingers got three, right? Okay. Now, just like your forearm has the hand, the forearm and the upper arm, your leg got the foot, the thigh, the shin and the thigh. Each of your limbs has the three, just like the fingers, and the thumb, the neck, and the head. All right? It's the same framework, okay? Now, here's the thing about the relationship between the hands and, and on the hand, right? With just the four fingers, you can do a hell of a lot of shit, okay? With just the four fingers, you can do a hell of a lot of shit. But when you add the thumb, you can do exponentially more things. And so the hand works like that, okay? But regardless of what the fingers, the hand wants to do, if the wrist says to move, everybody got to go, okay? So when you're going within, it's in the direction of the wrist. Now, I'll ask you this. If... <clears throat> If the, the, the four fingers are the limbs and the thumb is the head, where's the wrist? I don't know. It can't be melanin or none of that stuff. It's, 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 it's in the direction of Cliff. It's in the direction of what you mean when you say I. What you agree with, what you frame with, what you grasp when you say myself. Because what you grasp when you say myself is what's framing that. Regardless of whether or not you skim over it when you say things, regardless of what, because it's not even about what you say, it's about what you believe, what you think, how you frame your reality. The direction of, of go within has nothing to do with anything that's particulate matter. It's no quantum realm, anything, magnetos, it's none of that stuff. I, it has nothing to do with that. It is about the what you mean when you say I. You, because, because Cliff is, like I'm telling you, bro, it's, it's you at the door. And I love it. I love I, having your first little pop. It's a, I love it. But it's there's so much more beyond that. And, and this is why I say worry about Zip's pride. Because Zip will have you thinking you at you at the upper room. The upper room. And really this shit ain't like the upper room, right? He'll have, Zip, Zip will be feeling so good about Zip that he'll think that all this shit is just Gucci. I'm in the upper room now. But really, really, that ain't even the game, bro. Zip ain't even the game. Because when you start to really get in the cliff, it's a whole other thing you've been doing. And this is this whole Zip thing is a side quest. And it's not saying, you know, get, get rid of Zip and ignore Zip. No, Zip has to be cultivated because you got to live with the physical body. You know, Zip is like the software and, and, and the body is like the hardware. You got you to gotta deal with that. That's going to be here. Yeah. But, you know, it helps you frame. It, it's helped you so far to to frame your reality, you know, to make a self. But the thing is, the self you've made so far is just the thing that you can use for this game. The self you need is something else. And people will say, oh, you gotta just tap into your spirit body. And like, but that doesn't mean anything because you don't have anything you can grasp with that. And so with Cliff, you need details. You need to know yourself as Cliff the same way you know yourself as Zip. You need to know where he's been, what he's done, what it's like to be him. What does he do? Why does he do it? As you uncover those things about yourself as Cliff, you'll be able to grasp it more. You can call it an etherical body if you want to, because then, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. I just call it your spirit. I just call it spirit. It's the, because the thing you're really trying to get through, because even that shit's illusionary, the thing you're really trying to get to is that I, the, the thing that's the center part of your, or your, your perception, the light of your awareness, because that's the, because once you can get Cliff situated, that stuff will be obvious. And that's the real game. That's the real game. Mm. Oh, God, I love it. At the door, boy, make sure you knock and, and, and knock on the door with your chest out, bro. Even if you're scared, just nah, like you've been doing. Nah, Hell dude, yeah. I know what you mean. It's that fucking yes. energy, bro. Mm. That fucking energy. But damn, mm. nigga. Yes. I'm attached, bro. <laughs> I got to cut out a lot of shit. <laughs> in my life and then I'll be able to get back into that fuck it type of mindset you know what I'm saying and, but this injury bro like I'm taking this shit one step <laughs> at a time like bro I've been watching you for a while and I know that like I said the synchronicities and shit I'm okay this nigga remind me of somebody that will 
that ain't on some bullshit, that ain't giving me the Bobby Hemmett shit, that ain't trying to sell me some herbs and shit. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, respect the game for real, for real. You seem like a real nigga, bro. I'm real recognized, real. You feel me? Hey, bro. Man, I was I'm gonna listen, listen to you. I can hear real it. Shit. Yeah, bro. bro. I can't recognize Ken. It's cool, man. Real shit. <laughs> and then, I mean, damn, bro. You know what really had me when you started talking about the nihilistic, the narc, the nihilistic narc. Nihilistic narc. That shit had me. So, yeah, this nigga know exactly what the fuck going on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, this nigga know exactly what the fuck you be talking about. Bro. Exactly, God, bro. bro. I, I love that shit because when I hit, when I. When I hit that shit on the head, I was like, oh, yes, I got it. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wave this one. Because once niggas, once you can feel it, yeah, this is what the thing is. Nah, yeah, yeah I, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, there's a method to the madness, bro. There's a way out. I promise you. Nah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't your kundalini. Because, look, kundalini ain't something in the body, bro. Kundalini, the whole process of kundalini is is, is, is a description of, of, of what you're doing. Yeah. And so what you are is, is the kundalini. It's not something in your spine. The, the the kundalini leaving the root chakra the root chakra is all of the physical world it's not something in your body okay yeah it's so like when you look at the tree of life they have malkuth at the very bottom that's the physical world itself yeah. that's not just planet earth or the solar system or or, or or some other level in here that's the whole physical world yeah. and once you can pull your your yourself that thing you said got sucked up in the portal once you can you can grasp that and pull it out yourself, and don't have to have something suck you out. Then that's the kundalini coming up. That's what that is. See, it's not something in in this meat bag. Like, bro, this is this shit is like you said. You go hate to go back into it. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Worst fucking it's not feeling ever, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. You like you say everybody goes through the uh, the cliff off like stage in their life when they you know get into the spiritual shit. Like nigga, I was drawing sigils for Azazel, motherfucking uh, King Paymon, all that other shit. Mm -hmm. Them niggas, like, they, they weren't, like, I never had, like, an astral encounter, but I felt like shit happening around me type shit. The one deep, well, the one, like, energy that I was working with, well, I don't know how, how the shit worked, nigga. I was just drawing shit and trying to meditate and praying on the niggas. Like I said, I, I was just jumping myself in because I felt like that's what I was supposed to be doing. Like, I was fucking with uh, Uriel. And Uriel, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't, I never really did my research. I was just connected to it somehow. This nigga had shit flying off my goddamn dresser. Like, nigga, nigga had shit. Like, like I felt like the energy around it, but I couldn't see shit. You feel me? So it's like, in my mind, I'm like, why the fuck am I doing this shit? Like, what am I really getting out of this? Like, I don't even know what the fuck I want. I'm just following there you go. my there, image. There you like, go. Like, there you go. There you go. Like, man. Exactly. I don't even exactly. want to fuck with these niggas if I don't know what the fuck I am. So why the fuck am I trying to fuck with somebody else? These niggas could be getting off on me and I wouldn't have no fucking clue. And then I It's like some little kid running around, around your neighborhood. Right. Like, I yeah. don't know what's real. It's like some little kid. Like, you said what? It's like a little kid running around your neighborhood, knocking on people's door, talking about, oh, I just wanted to see if people was yeah, inside. That, that like, nigga, no, why you fucking in my house? <laughs> <laughs> that shit. I ain't gonna lie. One more thing. When I was uh, out, yo, it was a mantra. And this is when I was trying to initiate an out of body experience. I was at my grandma's. I was going through some shit. Like me trying mm -hmm. to see my family type shit and all this other shit. But I was meditating and I was you saying the word caduceus over and over again. Like I, I fell asleep somehow. And in the dream, I said caduceus. And I'm talking about nigga Denzel Washington. This nigga was in my dream. This nigga gave me the look. He said, he opened his eyes. <laughs> you crazy. I said, what? And nigga, the next thing I know, I felt a bungee cord grab me by my back, nigga. And I go flying in the astral. And like, nigga, mm -hmm. I, you know how that shit be like, that, that pulls your ass to pull me all the way up. I'm like, oh shit. Like it felt cool for a second. And then I remember like, I don't know what I seen, but I guess, Space for a second, like literally, like a point, like a half a second. It was a flash, and I feel myself coming back down on my body. Then I hear this voice talking to me, all zesty, like like it was speaking in like riddles. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, what's going on? Like, who are you? Like, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out is that Paymon? Because I was working with Paymon at the time, 
or no, nah, it was a Jazel. I was working with a Jazel at the time, so I'm thinking like, okay, is that a Jazel like trying to like tell me I'm I'm on, on the way to some shit or like I don't know. But after that, mm-hmm. that's why I kind of stopped fucking with it because it's like I'm not getting none out of this shit. Yeah, yeah, it was just like kind of just playing around yeah. at that point because like point. you were trying to see if you could do something, but then you know. You're trying to figure, well, what am I supposed to be doing yep. then if I can do this, right? I became exactly. aware of that thought, and that's what fucked me up. And then, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I did a mushroom binge. Like, this is when I'm like, man, I'm supposed to be greater. Let me just do mushrooms and get connected with the, the oneness of the world and shit. And <laughs> we were talking about that door, nigga. When you said that, that's when you locked me in, because I ain't gonna lie. I took mushrooms, my intuition said, go outside. I went outside, and there's some woods in my backyard. Nigga on some animal shit. Don't no, y'all niggas don't judge me, bro. Don't judge me. I was off mushrooms. I'm talking about nigga. I crawl on all fours like an animal, nigga. I'm in the woods. I'm Fuck like, them niggas. Like yeah, and then something said to flutter your eyes. So I, they told me to close my eyes and flutter them. And I was fluttering them right. And this this ball of light kind of like like was trying to. Oh, I was fluttering my eyes in front of the sun. So the after image of the sun. Uh, I used the after image of the sun and I was moving the after image by fluttering my eyes and shit. And then that, mm-hmm. that sun came down and it turned into like, like a white egg. And mm-hmm. after that, I opened my eyes and I'm freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? I closed my eyes again and I see this red door. And it felt like whenever I got close to it, it just went farther away from me type shit. And it said, if you go through the store, nigga, you're going to die. And I'm like, oh, hell. Like, I'm freaking out. So that's why when you were talking about that door, like, intuitional-wise, as I understand, but it feels like a part of me has to die before I even reach that door. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to learn to die before your body does. That's the, yeah, that's how I like to say it. Yeah. And look, this is this is the best this is the best advice I can give you in terms of something practical you can do. Yeah. Not physical. Okay. Um I I, I, I know that we just use you you use the name Cliff as a placeholder, but you need to find out your name. At least to so you can begin something other than zip. You feel me? Yeah. That's the first first step. And when you find that name, be that. Don't play human. I'm not saying you gotta do it 24/7 all the time everywhere. Nothing, nothing to nothing strenuous. But like, like let's say you decide, you know, you get the name, and and, and we know it's not Cliff. But let's say it's, you know it's Cliff, right? And you say, okay, go back and do the Azazel thing, but do it as Cliff and not Zip. Oh, I see what you're saying now. I get it. I get it. And yeah. I'm gonna lie, bro. Look at my face. It says Ram. And at the time, like, I don't know it. Uh, I know that's something, you know what I'm saying? I want you on my face for no reason. I know it's something. I don't want to speak out of turn, but something to do with the Ram. You feel me? Like, I kept seeing after images at the bottom met a lot before my spiritual awakening. And I didn't understand mm-hmm. it, but I understand that's what I'm about to become. I'm about to become that. And yeah, like, I remember, like you were I saying before, the thing has to have a. Like, when, in the dream world. Like, I don't you know. You said what? Like, nobody really gets to see their face. I saw what I looked like, nigga. I had horns, like nigga, nigga had mm-hmm. horns, motherfucking gold jewelry on. Like I was looking like that. Hey, bro, you already got some context. You already got some context to grasp. Lean into yeah, that. No cap. Get a name. Yes, sir. Lean in, like like when you start out. When you start out with the meditation, bro, you're like you know you probably be in a dark space or whatever. Go wherever you want. Start wherever you want. Whatever comes natural. Move around. You know. See how you moving around. Like, nigga, if you moving, like, nigga, what, what, hold, hold, how am I moving, nigga? Do I got legs? Maybe I got wings, nigga. Maybe I'm just slithering. You know, like, whatever the fuck, nigga, but figure it out so you have a thing. You know, it's not to say it's going to be the end all be all, but it's, some, it's something as opposed to nothing. Because the step from nothing to something is a lot and it's significant, even if it's just something stupid, you know? So you got a little bit of context there. Get a name and, and, and lean into being that nigga. See, I'm gonna do lean that, but I don't want to have nigga. the whole out of body experience doing it. Like, I, my body can't. Like, you don't need to. Oh. You, said, what? you don't need to. You don't need to. I, I guarantee you, you don't. Um, I mean, more than likely, you're gonna want to once you get in here, but you don't. You, but you can do it. Like, look, 
what you call daydreaming. Okay, like, look, let, let's say it like this. Here, let me let me put it let me put it let me frame it this way. All okay, right. if what you are is Cliff playing, playing that video game, right? Yeah. And it and it's Zip that's in the game. If it's Cliff that's playing the game, then the shit that you did you're worried about as zip isn't necessarily applicable when you move from that perspective but see the thing okay this is more to it there's no time in the game when when you're playing zip that you're not already cliff but it's what you're agreeing to that's why i say what is you because whatever you've decided for you is what you get you get what you asked for so are you playing zip or are you playing cliff Damn, nigga, you really I, just I, I can tell you, though. I can tell you, Cliff, my, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff probably ain't gonna have no trouble with that door. Zip, most certainly, because he's supposed to. He's the idea of yourself based on the idea that what you are is the physical body, but you trying to work from the idea of your, what you are is something outside of that, so you gotta change your premises of thinking. I got you, bro. Feel me? That shit makes sense because it's like this shit I know, but I've been pussy I've been pussy putting around it, bro. Playing games, Just playing games. Yeah, I'm thinking doing physical exercise is gonna make me mentally strong. <laughs> it's, not. it's really that fucking energy, bro. I gotta check <laughs> with that. <laughs> For real, you gotta say that shit with your chest. No, nah, no cap, yeah. bro. Like fuck it, bring it on, bitch. That type of shit, like. Goddamn picture myself with a sword and some armor slicing shit up. Like, mm -hmm. dead ass, bro. But I ain't gonna hold you for too long, bro. I appreciate the game. I'm actually about to got no problem. Some shit. I'm, I'm gonna let you know how everything go. I'm gonna get into my little meditation, get on my zone, and I'm gonna address myself as Ram. I'm gonna go in there with the mindset ready for whatever the fuck comes with no like a warrior. Mm. No, no you hear that nickname just already the nickname already here. Yeah, Dress man. myself with Ram. There we go, bro. Real yes, shit. please. Let me know how I go, right, man. man. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'ma holler at you. Peace. 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 Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I gotta figure out, how to, figure out how to do this <laughs> shit first. God damn, hold up. Oh, I'm about to get off here anyway, too, bro. I'ma just close it. <laughs> Alright, my nigga.